So today I'm working on a 817 block, 400 small block Chevy. <clears throat> it's 30 over, it's already back from the machine shop. And it's getting a four inch stroke crank uh, with the 5850 rod. So I've already stroker clearanced it here, here, and then up here where the rod bolts hit. Um, just got to do some, some little detail grinding on the top. So that's what I'm getting ready to do now. I'm going to have these kind of, the oil drain backs already all scribed out. Everything um, have to do a couple taps for pipe plugs there. Um, and then detail it and move on. So now I've broke the edge on everything tapped these holes right here um kind of got my oil drain backs dialed in front and back and uh in the back here open up these holes so the oils could drain oil could drain back better and broke the edge on everything in here tuned up the bottom of the the cylinders um, just so they have an inch broke on them as well uh, took me a, two hours probably to port and polish my block but you know I heard that gives you an extra 100 horsepower so So today I uh, hung all the rods on the pistons, CompuStar rods, Racetech pistons. It's just a shelf part, dish, uh, nothing too special. 5850 rod on a six inch piston with a 430 stroker crank. Getting ready to go in the block now. Hopefully move forward a little bit here.
The green, the cam, fun. Uh, this gear's been on there two times now, hoping for the third to be a little bit better. Today I'm over here cutting the decks on my new block. Found out the piston is a little too far in the hole. So, taking a few thou off her. Just got the pistons in the holes. Everything's ready to rip. Setting into smooth sailing. She's running smooth. So these spring seats that I have for my heads don't exactly fit, so I have to machine them today. Don't sit down there, so just gotta take ten thousandths off, like this one, and be ready to rip. A little bit of hardened steel. And that's it. Machining spring seats today, my last one. Going in for the cut. So just cut them all put together. Steel retainers, good hardware, all prepped. Head gaskets, copper coat on them. 1144s, cylinder heads ready to go on. Cylinder heads on, torqued, 70 foot pounds. So I just got the Yellow Terra rockers on, Iski lifters in there, Manton push rods, 8 1 length on it. They're just preliminary set in there right now. Waiting for some longer bolts for the actual rocker stand itself. So I went to install the balancer and I ran into a problem. It kind of got tight on there and it galled quite a bit inside the balancer there. I even used my, my installer and just still had an issue. So I went and measured at work the crank, the inner diameter versus the crank diameter. And it had exactly two and a half to three thousandths press on it when it only needs one to half. So my uh, machinist at work was able to machine it, take two thou out of it for me. And uh, when I press the installer on, or press the balancer on with the installer here now, 
just like that. I have lubed up the end of the crank and I will get this thing on here directly. Almost getting it with my hand. I'm gonna need a wrench here pretty soon, but it's looking good. Just got the pan put on tonight. All the bolts are internal. You gotta get to them through those top deals. And then the end Allen's right there. Just got done porting the intake. This is the AFR intake that's uh, like one inch in. It's been machined to 1206 gasket. And then on top, I took it and cut out the clover because I plan on using a nitrous plate. So trim that out, trim out. And then uh, got in there, made everything look a little bitchin'. It's all my handwork, nothing professional. Getting ready to glue the intake on. I already preset the gasket with a little bit of silicone, let that dry. Put some silicone on the end caps. Getting ready to plug her on. So here I've made a little setup. I primed the engine and while I'm priming it, I'm spinning it over. Took the last two exhaust valve and they got oil, everything ready to go. Make sure that everything's oiling properly before we go hit the dyno. Shark pump makes pretty good pressure. So now it's the next part. Final doubt so we can put it on the dyno. So tonight I just went and picked up the new carburetor for the motor and uh she's pretty much ready to go she's gonna hit the dyno on saturday test a couple different carburetors out see how much power this thing makes First startup, 436 inch small block Chevy.
tooth fell out. Yep.